Hello, my name is Billy Turnbow with Cisco Tech. Jabber login issues can be quite common and can happen for a variety of reasons. Let's take a look at a few things that you can check and how you can prepare to open a case for TAC on these issues. The most common error users will see on a login failure is this, cannot communicate with the server. However, this can mean so many different things but we can generally simplify it to mean one of two things. Service discovery failure. Jabber can't find the servers it needs to log in. Server resources are unavailable. Jabber can see the servers but the resources for them are missing or there is no response. Let's take a look at a few things we can do to determine the source of the issue and perhaps even fix them. First open a command prompt on the system where this is occurring. Now enter the following command ns lookup. Set type equal SRV. After this you will need to use the Cisco-UDS record name that Jabber will search for. This is followed by the DNS domain of the environment. Here is the syntax underscore cisco dash uds dot underscore tcp dot cucm domain dot com. This is not actually the cucm domain in this environment so we see an error that it can't be found. Now let me add the actual cucm domain. The result here shows that the SRV record exists and the host name for the CUCM publisher node is shown here. So the SRV record is successfully retrieved by the PC which means it should also be good for Jabber. The next step is to attempt to resolve the CUCM publisher host name. Exit NS lookup by typing exit here and in the command line type ping and use the same SRV host name we saw in NS lookup. This error tells me that the host name is not resolvable. This will cause the cannot communicate with server error we see. But let's go to the next step. Let me fix the SRV record as this is what was causing the issue. Now we can go back through NS lookup to test the SRV record. Now the SRV is correct for the FQDN and a ping will work. However, I am still not able to get past this error. The next step is to check access to the CUCM by using an internet browser. You can do this with an HTTP request. This is the actual URL that Jabber will use to obtain the service profile and device information for a user. By adding this in the browser URL field, I can access CUCM and see all the configuration settings for a Jabber user. Here the browser is telling me I can't reach the destination. This means Jabber will not be able to get the user information and we'll get the cannot communicate with the server error. In this case, the issue is the Windows firewall. I have an outbound rule to block port 8443, which is what Jabber uses to access CUCM in the URL address. Let's remove it. Now I can reach my destination. The CUCM is prompting for the Jabber user credentials and now I am able to access and see all configuration for this Jabber user. I should finally be able to log in to Jabber. In order to force Jabber to make another SRV query, I'll exit and restart the client.
At this point, the path for Jabber access to Call Manager is clear. If further troubleshooting needs to be done, we should look at the Call Manager UC service list the service profile, and the end user page where the service profile is defined for this Jabber user. Here are the steps for troubleshooting a Jabber login once more. Obviously, there are more variables to consider and more issues that could occur but these checks can help to narrow the scope of the issue and save a lot of time in the troubleshooting process. Thank you for watching.